Life Stallions, what's up? Kino Barber here, back with another one. Today's video is gonna be on the Stylecraft Instinct Clipper and also Trimmer, which is gonna be these machines right here, guys. Now, before we dive into this, you already know what to do. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, get a video a thumbs up if you like the content and follow me on my Instagram page, at Kimi Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. Welcome back to the channel guys. So we're talking about the new Stylecraft Pro Instinct Clipper and also Trimmer, which is gonna be these two machines right here. Now I did have this in the shop for a couple of weeks and got a chance to use this. So I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what I think about the new Clipper and also Trimmer. Uh, but before we get into that, let's head over to my station, unbox this, get a closer look at the Trimmer, Clipper, and also everything that's included inside these boxes right here guys. So let's head over to my station. So starting off with the clipper first, we'll go over the box before we open this up. Uh, on the top here, you see the SC Pro Instinct Clipper. You see the three different lids that comes with this clipper. And on the bottom here, you're gonna see Professional Victor Motor Clipper with Intuitive Torque Control. So on the back of the box, you have the S-Craft Instinct. You see five different pictures and descriptions about what this clipper comes with. You see some more descriptions here. You see the picture of the clipper with the black lid on it. So we'll start off with the first picture here. It says premium hypoallergenic gold titanium fixed vapor blade. Next it reads customizable click or floating taper options. Four hours of cordless runtime with charging stand included. Extreme power with the ergonomically designed compact body. Includes eight white double magnetic guards, cleaning maintenance kit, and a mini screwdriver. So on the bottom section here, you're gonna get some more information on the new motor that this clipper comes with and more details about it. Also, you can see a picture of the actual clipper with the black lid on it. And on the bottom here, you see that one year warranty. On the side of the box, you see that it is developed in the USA. You see a picture of the clipper and also the charging stand. On the other side of the box, you see the SC Pro Instinct clipper with the red lid on it. And that's pretty much everything that's gonna be on the box here. Let's get this bad boy open. So the clipper is gonna come in red and gold um, right out the box. Let's go over the blade first. So the blade is gonna be gold and what this blade is called is the Faper blade. It is a mixture between having a taper and also a fade blade all in one. This is their new design. Um, so as you can see, the blade is kind of thin. Um, but also have the ridges as well, like a um, taper blade would have. You're gonna also see the gold lever there, which is gonna be a click lever, of course. And you can also have that option of not making it a click lever if you want a floating lever. I kind of like this little piece right here. It reminds me of like a watch. I might have to get this customized and put some stones on here. I don't know guys, what do you guys think? Drop a comment, let me know. Uh, right here on the bottom here, you see the SC in gold. The power button is gonna be right here as well. In red, you're gonna see the Instinct. This clipper is gonna come in all plastic, very lightweight clipper. It's not heavy at all. You're gonna have your finger grooves in the back of the clipper. On the bottom is where you charge up with the adapter. And on the back is where you plug in your USB cord as well. So that's gonna be pretty much everything on the clipper as far as I see. Let's take a look at some of the other items that this Instinct clipper comes with. Up next we have the blue lid. It's gonna come in a royal blue also gold as well you see the little bezel piece on the top here also the see-through window there you see the sc the on and off button is going to be gold the instinct is going to come in blue up next we have the black lid now the black lid is going to come in all black you're going to see the sc and gold uh, on the top here with this bezel is not a see-through it's, it's going to be the same material as this it's like a rubberish type of material there. Um, this bezel here piece is gonna be in black as well. The Instinct is gonna come in a grayish color and uh, really nice looking lid. Up next we have the charging dock. So this charging dock looks like it's a little smaller compared to the other Stylecraft docks, but nevertheless it still feels premium. Uh, looks good as well. You see the SC right there in the middle that's gonna be in gold. Um, this also has that little bezel design on the top rim part of this, which is gonna be in gold. Here's where you set your clipper in. On the back is gonna be where you plug in your adapter and you're gonna have the four grips on the bottom there as well. Very lightweight, it feels very sturdy. So this charging dock doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out or tip over at all. 
um, as I'm shaking it like that, it's in there pretty, pretty snug, guys. So removing this lid. Here is gonna be the adapter for the charging stand, which you plug it in from the back here. It's gonna come in your standard charging um, adapter cord that Stylecraft usually provides for you. So this cord probably will work on any other charging stands as well. So here are going to be the white double magnetic guards. It's interesting that they did this in white. I wonder what was the reasoning behind that. If anyone knows, please drop a comment, let me know. It's not like white white, it's almost has like a, um, a tint to it, kind of like a like grayish white per se. And then it looks like the numbers are gonna be written in different color guards. And each guard has its own color. Let's open one up and take a look at it. So this is gonna be the one and a half uh, guard, but I do like it. It feels very sturdy, um, feels very premium. Let's try it on the clipper. So it feels pretty good on here. Now, to be honest with you guys, I have not really used the guards yet. From what I hear over time, this part on the guard, which is gonna be that one and a half, and also the SC can rub off the paint a little bit. Um, on that part. So that's what I've heard. I haven't experienced that yet. Word around town, that's what they're saying. But other than that, it's a good guard. You got the double magnetics. I like the double instead of having the one. To me, the double feels more secure. So with these magnetic guards, you're gonna get from a zero all the way to a number six guard. There's gonna be your traveling cord, which is gonna be that USB uh, that you plug in the back of the clipper. So you use this piece here to plug in the back. Now, one thing I would like to say, guys, and I don't know if anyone ever mentioned it, but this piece right here can bend easily. So you gotta be careful when you are putting this um, plug in your clipper, because if you, you know, yank it out this way, this thing definitely can bend. So here, guys, we have the stretch bracket, also some different levers, which is gonna be a black, blue, and also red. Um, you're gonna see the cleaning brush, a couple of screws there, guys. So here's gonna be the mini screwdriver. And last but not least is gonna be the clipper manual and instructions on the new Instant Clipper. It's gonna give you some more information on this clipper, um, which I'm pretty sure you're not gonna read, but here it is. Next we have the trimmer. Um, before we open this up, let's go over the box. On the top here, you see SC Pro Instinct. You see the picture of the trimmer and the three different lids, which comes in the same lids as the clipper, the red, black, and blue. On the bottom here, you see professional Victor motor trimmer with intuitive torque control. So on the back of the box, you're gonna see five different uh, pictures and description about this trimmer. So the first picture it reads, Black Diamond Fix X-Pro Wide Blade, stays cooler, rust-free, and sharp longer. Skeleton design for 360 of visibility. Four hours of cordless runtime with charging stand included. Extreme power with an ergonomically designed compact body. Includes mini screwdriver cleaning maintenance kit and a zero gap setting tool and micro USB charging cord. And down below, you're gonna see some more information that says about this trimmer and also the motor of the trimmer. Uh, you're gonna also see the picture of the trimmer. It's gonna come in that black lid. And on the bottom of that, you're gonna see the one year warranty. On the side of this box, it says developed in USA. You see the picture of the trimmer and also the charging stand. And on the other side of the box, you see the SC Pro Instinct trimmer and it's gonna have that blue lid on there as well. And that's gonna be pretty much everything on the box. Let's open this bad boy up. So here we have the trimmer guys. Let's take off this plastic piece. So the trimmer is gonna come in the red lid. It's gonna be red and gold and also black. So let's start off with the blade. The blade is gonna come in all black. It's gonna be the X-Pro blade, which you guys are familiar with. If you know the Saber trimmer, it's gold, but this one's just gonna be in black. It's also gonna come with that one cutter blade as well. So you're gonna get the same blade, same design as the Saber, but it's just gonna be in black. So moving down, you're gonna have that see-through um, window there with the gold trimming around it, the SC written in gold. The on and off button is gonna be right below that, which is gonna be a push button, and that's gonna be in gold. You see the Instinct, which is gonna say it in red. And on the bottom of the clipper is where you have the adapter where you plug in or set in your charging stand. On the back here is where you have the USB port. So when you're on the go and you just bring your USB cord, you have that option there as well. Uh, you're gonna have your finger groove placements on the back of this trimmer as well, which is a real nice touch. This trimmer is gonna be very lightweight. It's gonna come in all plastic. And on the top here, you have that 360 
angles so you're able to get around the ears and uh, mustache area those hard places to get around and that's pretty much all the little details i see on the trimmer let's uh, look at the rest of the items that comes along with the trimmer we have the blue lid now the blue lid is going to come in that same royal blue as the clipper uh, this blue lid is going to have the blue and gold you see the top part of the lid is going to have that see-through little window there and you're going to see the gold trimming around little bezel piece there you see the sc written in gold the button is going to be in gold as well the on and off switch and the instinct is going to be in a blue color here we have the black outlet for the trimmer now the trimmer is going to have that same design as the clipper you're going to see the blackout window with the little black bezel around it as well the sc is going to be in gold the on and off button is going to be in black and where it says instinct is going to be kind of a grayish color so next we have the trimmer charging stand and this trimmer charging stand is, is pretty much the exact same charging stand as the clipper um, same size this is the clipper charging stand and this is the trimmer as you can see they're both the same size same everything as a matter of fact you can put the trimmer in this charging stand and then you can also set your clipper in the same charging stands. You don't have to actually use both charging stands. So if you like me and don't want to have too many charging docks on your station, uh, you can just use the one. So just like on the clipper charging stand, it's going to have the same SC in gold. You're going to see that gold trimming around the top part of it. Here's where you set your clipper in. The back of this one is going to be where you set your adapter cord and you're going to see the four grips there on the bottom and uh, that's pretty much it. So here we have the charging adapter which is going to be the same as the clipper. Of course you, you plug it in from the back here. We have the USB cord which you use this to plug in the back of the trimmer which is going to be right here. Your cleaning brush and also some extra screws just in case you might lose some. Next we have the mini screwdriver. And last but not least is gonna be the trimmer instruction manual. So we're gonna weigh the clipper and also the trimmer. Starting off with the clipper. We come at 215. And then a trimmer. 182. Now it's time for the sound check. So pricing on the brand new clipper and trimmer, we'll start off with the clipper first. The clipper is gonna run you $239.95 and pricing for the trimmer is gonna cost you $199.95. And of course you can use the discount promo code KING to save you some money on the clipper and also the trimmer. So I did get a chance to use the brand new clipper and also trimmer on my client, which you can see right here.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the brand new clipper and trimmer. Now let's start off with the clipper first. Now when it comes to the clipper, when I first saw this clipper, I'm like, wow, this is a really small clipper. I mean, it feels like a trimmer almost. In comparison to like the Sabre clipper, which I use all the time, you can see the difference in it. It's pretty small, right guys? So it kind of threw me off a little bit. But then when I started using this, I realized this clipper has a lot of power and that is all due to the Victor motor. Now the Victor motor is something new because what happens is when you have really thick coarse hair and you use this Victor motor, it will ramp up more power and speed just to get through the boat. This thing actually performs very well when it comes to boat and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. So when you turn the clipper on and when you squeeze on the clipper blade, you can hear the motor ramping up. So even though this is small, it packs in a lot of punch, guys. So another thing that I like about the clipper is gonna be that vapor blade, which is gonna be the mix between the taper and also the fade blade. I can see why they would put it on this clipper by it being so small, but having a lot of power, you're able to bought out your clients and also get through bulk. So having a vapor blade that's the best of both worlds definitely makes sense to have on this clipper. So what I'll probably end up doing with this clipper is that I'm gonna end up changing the lid to the black lid, also the lever to black and um, I'm gonna continue to use this. Now, is it good enough to be a main clipper for me? Well, it is an all around clipper, meaning that it handles bulk, um, it fades very well, and it's a good clipper, but it's a little too light. Now, I do like lighter clippers, don't get me wrong. I think the Sabre clipper is like the perfect amount of heaviness and lightness as far as a clipper goes. And I feel like this one is a little too light. So I'll probably end up just using this to travel with, or I can just use this to complement the Sabre Clipper. Like if I'm doing some detail work, I think I'll end up using this clipper. Just not quite sure on the whole using this as my main clipper, but I am going to continue to use this clipper. So my first initial thoughts on the brand new trimmer is that it reminded me of the Sabre trimmer. Now they both have kind of the same built a little bit, although this one is lighter and just a tad bit slighter difference with the body, but it will definitely give you the Sabre vibe. And just like the Sabre trimmer, the Instinct trimmer is also gonna come with that one cutter blade as well, which is gonna be in black. So the one thing that I will knock on this brand new trimmer is gonna be how the lines came out with this as far as using this to do my lineups and edge ups with this trimmer. It didn't perform that great right out the box. Now I have not zero gap it, I did anything to it, just like a lot of my other trimmers, I just gotta keep on using this and getting used to how it cuts and how it performs. And maybe I might just zero gap it just a little bit just to really get those little sharp lines that I'm looking for. But that'll probably be my only knock when it comes to this trimmer. So is a brand new clipper and trimmer worth the buy? And to be honest with you guys, that is a hard question because it's all about your preference and when do you like? Do you like a smaller, uh, lighter clipper? Uh, for me, I find the best way to use a smaller and lighter clipper is when you're doing low fades and also low tapers. I think having a smaller clipper, like a trimmer, um, getting in those small, tight areas, I think it works very well. For me, I don't mind it, you know, but that might be different for you. You might not like the lighter clipper. You might not like how small this clipper is. You might have bigger hands and it's gonna be kind of hard for you to use a clipper that's small like that. So it's really about preference on that. And then when it comes to the trimmer, the trimmer has a great motor on it. Um, again, right out the box didn't hit for me, but I'm sure once I adjust this and get it going, it'll be perfect. It might be different for you because right out the box, you might feel that this trimmer works very well and it hits very well. So and it's all preference. I think when it's all said and done with everything that you're getting with the clipper and trimmer, as far as the charging dock, the extra lids, all the tools and accessories that you're getting with the brand new clipper and trimmer, I think it is worth the buy because you know Stylecraft Gamma, they, they load you with a lot of stuff with your clipper. You don't just get a clipper and then that's it. You're gonna get guards, you're gonna get a zero gap tool, you're gonna get a charging dock, you're gonna get different lids, you're gonna get extra screws, but you just gotta ask yourself, can you get used to using a smaller clipper? And also the trimmer is also light as well. So it's definitely a preference thing. So when it comes to crowning or trashing the brand new Stylecraft Pro, 
instant clipper and also trimmer. I say today, guys, we're going to crown it, especially because of that motor. The motor on the clipper and trimmer is amazing. I just love the power of the brand new clipper and trimmer. And for that reason alone, we have to crown it. So that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And also get in the comment section. Let me know if you're gonna grab our pass on this brand new Stylecraft Pro Instinct Clipper and also trimmer. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.